Hey guys, welcome back to the Tips Bench. So there's an old saying that a nose-heavy plane flies poorly, but a tail-heavy plane only flies once. But we don't want to deal with any of that, so we're going to show you how to set your center of gravity, your CG correctly, using our Hobby King center of gravity machine. So you might be wondering, why do I need to set my CG? Why is this always in the manual? Especially for a lot of you new guys just building your first kit or your first ARF. So you want your center of gravity set correctly so your plane has the most neutral flight characteristics. If your plane's too nose heavy, it's going to want to pitch down a lot. It'll also feel really heavy on the sticks and you'll need to put in a lot of input to sort of get any movement out of it. Uh, on the other side, there's tail heavy planes that are just going to be extremely overly sensitive. They're going to be really pitch crazy when you're on the elevator. Like that old saying says, you're going to fly it once and then have a really hard time getting it back down. So as I mentioned, using our Hobby King Center of Gravity Machine, we're going to show you how to do a proper center of gravity setup. We're going to be using our Durafly Das Ugly Stick to show you how to do center of gravity. And we're also going to be using one of our uh, Nanotech A-Spec G2 packs, which is the recommended pack for this plane to set our center of gravity. So let's go ahead and do it. Now in the Das Ugly Stick manual, the recommended center of gravity is 65 millimeters from the leading edge of the wing. So what we're going to do here is take our center of gravity uh, rulers and we're going to set them to 65 millimeters. So we're going to just slide the slider to 65 and there's a little sort of indent on the bottom of it where you want to line up the correct number. So once we have that set, we're going to tighten down the set screw. We're going to put it back on our machine and we're going to do the same thing again for the other side. Again, 65 millimeters is what we're aiming for. Tighten it down and put it back on the machine. Now the next step is we want to install the battery in our plane. When you're doing any sort of CG measurements, you want to make sure you have all your electronics, all your hatches, all your canopies, anything that's going to be on the plane when it flies, installed on the plane and ready to go. In our ugly stick, we already have our receiver, our ESC, our servos, everything already in it. So all we have to do is add the battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the battery just sort of in the middle of the battery tray or the battery space in here. And we're going to adjust it from there as we need to get the center of gravity. Uh, set correctly. All right, so we're gonna set it on the machine. Now, what you wanna do is have these uprights here on the rulers butted up against the leading edge of your wing and sort of the plane centered on the machine. Now, as you can see, we have a pretty tail heavy plane here. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is bring the battery forward in the battery compartment, and that should help us get our CG set right. Now, oh, it looks like we have our CG set pretty perfectly. Just eyeing it from the side, everything looks level. Looks like we have our CG set right. Plane's nice and level from the side. Now, if you were to have a plane that were to be, let's say a little tail heavy and like this, what you'd wanna do is take the battery out and push it farther forward to see if you can get it to become level. And if you can't get the battery far forward enough to, where, to the point where it sits level, what you're gonna to wanna to do is possibly adjust the position of your receiver or ESC, move those forward to try and get more weight forward so you can get a properly set CG. And if worse comes to worse, with some models, you may need to add a little bit of weight to either the nose to try and get the CG to come forward. Same thing as if it were nose heavy and your plane were sitting like this, you wanna move stuff backwards. And again, in the end, if worse comes to worse and you have to add a little bit of weight to the tail to try and bring it back so you get your CG set properly. All right guys, so that about wraps it up for sending your CG. It's actually really simple, especially if you're using one of these center of gravity machines. But just a little quick tidbit for you, if you're out at the field and you forgot to bring your CG machine with you, you can always use your fingers and measure out and mark the center of gravity point on the bottom of your wing, and then use your fingers to find the point and balance the plane like I just did quickly here. It's sort of a quick and dirty method, but it'll get you by in a pinch if you left your CG machine at home. So again, that about wraps it up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and stay tuned for more tips.